Franklin could slide down a riverbank all by himself. He could count backwards and forwards. He could zip zippers and button buttons. He could even sleep alone in his small dark shell. But Franklin was slow, even for a turtle. Hurry up, Franklin, begged and pleaded his family and friends. I'll be there in a minute, said Franklin. But there was always so much to see and so much to do. Franklin was never there in just a minute. One day, Franklin was very excited. He was going to Bear's house. It was a very special day. Hurry up, said Franklin's mother. You can't be late. It wasn't far to go to Bear's house. Just along the path, over the bridge, and across the berry patch. Franklin meant to hurry, except he saw something unusual. He wandered off the path and found Rabbit hopping up and down in the tall green grass. What are you doing? Franklin asked Rabbit. Playing leapfrog said Rabbit. Do you want to play with me? I'm on my way to Bear's house, said Franklin, and I can't be late. There's lots of time, said Rabbit, forgetting that Franklin was slow, especially for a turtle. It's just along the path over the bridge and across the berry patch. Come play with me! Franklin knew it was not very far at all, and he said yes. Rabbit leaped over Franklin again and again. After a while, Rabbit said, Well, look at the time. Hurry up, Franklin. You're going to be late. And then Rabbit bounded along the path on his way to Bear's house. I'll be there in just a minute, said Franklin. And he meant to be there in just a minute, except he heard an odd sound. Franklin wandered even farther off the path until he found Otter sliding up and down the riverbank. What are you doing? Franklin asked Otter. Slipping and sliding, answered Otter. Do you want to play with me? I'm on my way to Bear's house, and I can't be late, said Franklin. Forgetting that Franklin was slow, even for a turtle, Otter said, Oh, there's plenty of time. It's just along the path over the bridge across the berry patch. Would you like to play with me? Sure, said Franklin. Yes, that's what he said, knowing it wasn't far. Franklin slid down the riverbank and splashed in blue bubbles, until Otter said, It's time to go! Hurry up, Franklin! You're going to be late! Then Otter swam away with a flick of her tail on her way to Bear's house. I'll be there in a minute, said Franklin. It was very quiet. Franklin was alone and far from the path. Rabbit and Otter had gone. Franklin had a thought less frightening than Frankenstein's monster. Maybe he was already too late. Franklin walked as fast as his turtle legs could carry him. He hurried through the fields and along the path. He was almost at the bridge when he heard a rustle in the grass and saw a patch of reddish fur. It was Fox and he was hiding in the brush. Do you want to play with me? asked Fox. I have to hurry, said Franklin. I'm on my way to Bear's house. It's not very far, said Fox, but before he could go on, Franklin said, Yeah, yeah, I know the rest. Well then, said Fox, come and play hide and seek. Franklin was hesitant. Hide and seek was his favorite game. Ready or not, asked Fox. Franklin shouted, Ready! And he was just about to step off the path when he remembered it was a very special day. I can't be late, he said. I can't play. I have to hurry. 
Franklin rushed along the path and over the bridge. He was in such a hurry that he almost stepped on a bug. N no, it was a snail. Where are you going in such a hurry? said the snail, who was even slower than Franklin. I'm on my way to Bear's house, said Franklin. I, I, I have to hurry. I can't be late. Being late would ruin everything. The snail began to cry. What's wrong? asked Franklin. Uh, I will never get to Bear's house on time, sobbed Snail. I it's not very far, said Franklin. Just across the berry patch. It seemed very far to Snail, and he sobbed even harder. <laughs> Don't worry, said Franklin bravely. But even Franklin was worried. It was farther than he thought. It was a very big berry patch. He wished he hadn't played with rabbits, and that he hadn't played with otter, and even that he hadn't wasted so much time talking to Fox. Then he remembered it was Bear's special day. There was no time to cry. He had to hurry. Come along, Snail, said Franklin, helping Snail slide onto his back. Please hurry, whispered Snail, but Franklin needed no urging. He moved surely and steadily. He hurried past the blackberries. He hurried past the gooseberries. He even hurried past the raspberries. And he was almost at Bear's front gate when he remembered something important. He stopped right there at the edge of the berry patch and started picking handfuls of the ripest, plumpest, juiciest blueberries in the berry patch. Franklin, we don't have time to pick blueberries. You know we can't be late, said Snail. Franklin whispered in Snail's right ear. <laughs> And soon Snail was helping too. They picked until the bush was clean. Hurry up, said Snail. Please hurry up, Franklin. He hurried up Bear's path, through the front door, across the kitchen, and into Bear's living room. Rabbit was there. Otter was there. Fox was there. Everyone was there. Franklin and Snail had made it just in time to shout, Surprise! Have a happy birthday, Bear! And he did.